<clears throat> What's up, it is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this video, we are gonna finish the 1955 lifted rat rod truck build. Then we're gonna take it for a spin. Let's go. Before we get started here today, I'm gonna to let you know there are actually a couple spots left in the giveaway. If you want in, go to caseyscustoms.com. You'll see all the information on there. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at caseyscustoms at yahoo. But for now, let's finish this old girl up. It is time to finish the 1955 lifted four-wheel drive rat rod truck build. In this video, we're gonna button up everything that needs done. Our hood fits like shit. Our inner fenders fit like shit. On the last video, I asked you guys if we should do a bed floor or not. I would say 99% of the comments said, please do a bed floor, throw a piece of plywood in there. So we're gonna cut all these strips out, then we're gonna fit our wood in there and then we'll put the strips back in. I'm gonna go with a burnt finish and then seal it up with some used motor oil. I actually did that on the last 55 Ford truck I built. I think that was almost two years ago at this point. It still looks great. It really seals it nice, and you don't have to like keep reapplying it. It looks awesome. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is cut all of these strips out, and then we'll start kind of figuring out how we're gonna get that piece in there. I think it needs shaved down a little bit on each side, and then obviously we need to cut the wood for where the uh, gas filler neck is. Let's cut some shit. That was a lot harder than it should have been. I didn't really like cutting around the gas tank very much, so I got the Sawzall out, which made it a lot harder, but I didn't have sparks everywhere. I got all this out. I need to cut all the strips off the actual bars, or the subfloor, rather, and then I'll put the subfloor back in there, and then we can get the plywood in there so it has something to bolt to. Basically, I just said all that to say I gotta cut some more shit. This is why this takes so long. Look how many little <laughs> bolts there are that need cut. Great news, got it all done. Got our strips out. Now, if this wasn't a rat rod and I want it to be real nice, what I would do is I would actually go to like an Ace Hardware and get some one inch or two inch strips of aluminum. And then you can just really, you know, shine the aluminum up and then just screw it into the board. Since we're going with the rat rod theme, I'm just gonna screw these right back in. We'll leave them rusty. But, uh, yeah, I gotta put these subfloors in now. All right, got the floor braces in there. They're good. I was walking all over them. Nothing was moving, which is nice. That's all really solid and looking good. I have a problem. It's time to start cutting the wood fit. I have a perfectly straight line that needs cut, and I do not have my skill saw. So I'm too lazy to go to the other shop. I'm going to attempt to cut a four-foot straight line with a very small sawzall blade. Really dumb, but let's see how it is. Oh, uh, this ain't looking good. Ooh, that might help. I don't know, that might make it worse. There. We're gonna clean this up with a grinder now. Check it out. The test fit looks perfect. I'm just gonna leave that open for now. If it if I was keeping it, I'd probably like cover that, you know, with like some sheet metal, but it'll be okay for now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. There's a couple things I need to weld in there, and also it's gonna be easier to do the burn finish over here on the table. I'll probably screw it in after I do the burn finish and then we'll do our motor oil uh, stain on top. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Oh, now I gotta pull it back out. It's not light, so I'm just uh, procrastinating. <laughs> okay, it is time to do the burn finish. It's really, really sophisticated. It's really tough to explain. You light the wood on fire. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's that's it. You just do it until you think it looks good. I did a little test corner down there. I kind of like it a little darker than not dark. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna light this shit on fire. Let's go. All right, it's taking too long with my little torch. Let's light it on fire. Oh, that's not too bad. We need a little bit more of that, and then we'll go back in with a small torch. Jeez. 
check it out looks pretty good got the wood down got the strips just screwed in the easy part now is the motor oil sealant just take any used motor oil put it on there it'll really darken it up it looks like a dark stain let's do that now and call this a day this is authentic porsche used engine now it is a fake porsche that's okay but it did come out of the porsche now this is very scientific just give her some of that. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot there was water mixing that oil. That's not what I want. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, I found a uh, old shitty. Perfect. I just dipped that in my used oil. There we go. You better turn. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I. Check it out. It's hard to tell the way the light's hitting it, but. It looks perfect, <laughs> other than the spots where I accidentally put the uh, chocolate milkshake and not the oil. I forgot that there was a bunch of water in that motor. <laughs> so other than that, it's okay. This will this will actually just soak in overnight, and then we'll end up doing another coat tomorrow. But the darker the used oil, the better. The darker it looks, it looks like a dark stain, basically. I really like that, especially for what it is. Check it out. It is the next day. This looks absolutely amazing. I will probably add another coat of oil to it to darken it up a little bit more. But I mean, for now, I'm way cool with it. We're going to move on to something else. But this looks great. You take a $40 or $50 piece of plywood. You reuse the strips you had. You burn it. You know, you spend 20, 30 minutes burning it. And then just add some dark old motor oil. And you get a piece that looks, you know, it looks like some sort of fancy mahogany, whatever. It looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. I have done this probably 10 times now on trucks. I really, really like the way it looks. Um, if this wasn't a rat rod and I was trying to make it look even nicer, I think I said already, you can uh, use aluminum strips and then buff them to like a chrome, basically. And it'll look even better than it does. But this is perfect for this one. Really, really happy with it. We are going to move on to the hood now. This hood is a train wreck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all this by myself, but I'm going to find out here real quick. The problem is the owner mounted the hinges. He cut this cowl in half whenever he did his body swap. And he had to remount these hinges from scratch. And they're actually about an inch higher than they need to be, maybe two inches. As you can see, this hood will never fit flush with my spring being above the cowl. So I need to get in here, unbolt all this, drill these out, and sink them down. And these hinges suck anyway, let alone needing to drill them out, cut them, and all that fun stuff. So I'm not very excited about it. But it's time to bite the bullet and get it done. So let's go. If I should fall, just go ahead. Okay, that was a giant pain in the ass much harder than it should have been i was originally just going to drill these holes out he has welded a quarter inch plate behind there that is super super strong actually so i'm going to try and reuse it the only problem is now the only adjustability i'm going to have is going to be on the hinge which i don't really care because i hate these hinges so much so what i'm going to do is actually drill out the holes on the hinges so everything is too high so i need to come up here you know half inch quarter inch whatever i could technically just waller these out to like an oval but i think that's going to be harder than just drilling new so let's drill the shit out of some hinges baby, catch me, baby. okay got them all drilled out and i basically just drilled holes a half inch above where they were i'm hoping that's going to be enough relief if it's not we're gonna to have to come up with a different strategy because i really I drilled as much as I could with still using <laughs> that hinge setup. So uh, it's going to be a real pain in the ass trying to get this on there by myself. But let's uh, wrestle it for a while and see what happens. These are just the worst hinges on the planet. I fucking hate them so much. Uh, I'm going to figure something else out. I have been drilling them and moving them, and I've spent the whole day on it, basically, and it still will not shut right. So I'm pulling these pieces of shit off. We're going to figure something out. I don't care if I do <laughs> a fucking belt. It ain't going to be these things. They suck so much. I hate these hinges. Okay, so I threw a little fit. I was very mad at the hinges. Had a whole thing, did a speech. I worked on it another hour and a half trying to figure it out, and I just got more mad. So the hinges are gone. I got a couple screws in the top of the hood for now, and we're going to do belts 
And that's going to be it for now, just so I can drive the goddamn thing and we'll figure something out later. I know they make a tilt hood for these. They're like a grand though. I don't obviously want to do that, but I don't know. We're going to do belts like we did on the 51 Chevy. It's going to be fine. I have to move on to something else. I, it's literally been six hours today and it just isn't working. So, uh, these inner fenders need welded to the fenders. As you can see, they're all just kind of hanging. And there's also, um, I believe there's reinforcements on the inside that either need bolted up or need welded as well. So we're going to do all that so these aren't hanging. So we can finally take her for a proper drive. The only drive I've done, I basically went around the block a couple times. I actually want to get it out and buzz it around a little bit and uh, see how it drives with a window in. Be a lot nicer than it was without the window. So let's weld some shit. Okay. Inner fenders are done. My chrome center caps finally came in, so we will put those on tomorrow as well. Oh yeah, baby. Great news, I found the belts. These are actually sent in by a subscriber. I cannot remember his name though, I apologize, but they're awesome. They are Carhartt belts, they're real thick leather. They're gonna be perfect. The hood belt trick is kind of hacky to be completely honest with you, but I love the way it looks. I've done it several times now. And it's really easy to, if you don't like it and you are the giveaway winner, it's really easy to just unscrew them and then have a normal setup. Um, I like them a lot better than trying to fix these broken bent ass hood hinges. Also the giveaway, winner they're gonna be able to do whatever they want with these they're gonna come off real easy or they can run the belts like i said i love them uh, i was gonna put the bumper in but i got to looking at it and the way those brackets work they're gonna be right in the way of this s10 spare tire well so i think i'm just gonna leave it off and let whoever wins it figure out what they want to do with the rear bumper to be completely honest with you they sell these bumpers chrome really cheap and if it was me i would probably just put a new one on somebody has actually welded half of these brackets on and it's coming apart and it's just beat all to hell so if it was me and I had to make all new brackets, I would probably just use a new bumper. It'd look 10 times better. But let's see if we can't get these belts figured out. I mean, I'm not lying to you. I do not hate that at all. <laughs> it is time to put on our chrome hubcaps. I'm supposed to have chrome lug nuts too but i guess they just haven't showed up yet i ordered them like two weeks ago so no big deal we're not going to stress on them but i do want to get the hubcaps on so let's throw them on right now you better go it is done it's filthy it really needs to get washed i'm gonna take it down to the car wash it's about two miles from here It'll be a perfect little drive we'll get it all cleaned up i'm really happy with how this truck came out especially considering what it is i wasn't the biggest fan of how the previous owner did the body swap it was an abandoned project i picked it up super cheap spent eh, whatever a month on it maybe a month and a half just kind of putting it all back together we stole a bunch of parts off of it for my other 55 and i'm really happy with it Nice little cheap rat rod, budget build, four wheel drive. You could have some fun in the mud with this thing. Let's take her for a spin. I got two GoPros and I have this camera too. So let's go to the car wash and hopefully we don't get stabbed. Knock on wood, knock on 57 Chevy. Just realized I did not put the mirrors on. <laughs> That's all right.
Great news, we got it washed. I did not get stabbed. Is there anything scarier than that smile sign? Obviously they mean smile, there's a camera here, but it's, it's really like smile, you're about to get taken hostage. Well, she looks good, wet, ayo. That sounded dirty, didn't mean it that way. All right, I'm gonna go take this for a spin, get it dried off, probably park it over at the shop and uh, do the old 360 view video on her and uh, see how she looks. That was a ton of fun. She's looking great. I did a big old nasty burnout coming out of the uh, car wash. Did a big old tail slide. Looked awesome. I was laughing my ass off. I turned my head. There's a cop right there on the street. <laughs> and I looked over. I kind of saw him. He kind of saw me. And I was like, eh, he didn't do anything. So I took off. Hilarious. Like I said, at the beginning of this video, there are a couple spots left in the giveaway. If you want to get in, just go to my website, caseyscustoms.com, and you'll show you all the details. If you have any other questions, just shoot me an email at caseyscustoms at yahoo.com. If you are not already subscribed, hit that button now. Thank you very much for watching. Watching. Please like, share, comment, all the good stuff they tell you at the end of videos. Check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Love you.